Good morning, folks. Today we've got two things to watch on our star. We've got a new look at the Southern Ocean floor and a paradigm breaking fast radio burst. Looking at the last 24 hours on the sun, we see the filaments acting stably. The coronal hole is incoming near the equator and will face Earth towards the end of the weekend. And centrally on the south, this morning a new sunspot complex was born and began growing quickly. Eyes on this one for flares as there is a plasma filament in the middle of the active region. Folks, the Southern Ocean is the least well known, the least explored, and that goes double for the sea floor. Now a new combination of studies and compilation of all available data are bringing them one step further down the line. It still lacks the resolution to capture the smallest features, but some of the larger ones we've never seen before have been revealed, including some runoff valleys on the sea floor. And I would love to hear them explain how the turbidity currents work down there, he said sarcastically, because those deposit material, not carve rock. And that is a nod to the continental tsunamis and the great cyclical catastrophe rushing back off of the continents. The big science news today hits fast radio bursts. FRBs. Folks, we've got the biggest news since the extreme magnetic reversal was seen in the polarization of a fast radio burst, and that was back on March 17th. And this one screams something we've been screaming in cosmology for decade. They are bad at telling how far away things are. The galactic light of this repeater says it's three times closer to us than the FRB light itself, suggesting that dispersion measure isn't what they thought it was, that their distance gauges still struggle, and that FRBs are not exactly what we believed. Stellar outbursts are the number one explanation, and for the many times repeaters, second place explanation could be anything from collisions to alien signals. There's literally no good way to know. But these remain the strangest and most answer elusive aspect of the cosmos at this time. Lastly, folks, anyone in the area of Colorado Springs should bring their kids out for story time on Saturday to the Pikes Peak Children's Museum. My wife and our CEO will be reading the children's books at the event, which only lasts from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Cats children's events are always tier one level enjoyment for the kiddos. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.